Hey everybody, and thanks for stopping by my channel. Uh, today's video is a uh, Nintendo controller review. I have two controllers for my Nintendo Switch. I wanted to talk about the differences of them and uh, which one I might prefer over the other. I'm going to start showing some uh, gaming-related content. When I say gaming, I don't mean specifically one type or the other. I like video games. I like tabletop games, card games, etc. Um, so I'm going to start talking about that on my channel piecemeal, if you will. Um, but I actually spent a month and a half, pretty much most of June and July, on comparing, like, testing the usage of these two controllers. So the first one is the Power A controller. This is, that's pretty much, it's wireless. So it's got the Bluetooth. There's the back. It's got these extra buttons, which I never use. I mean, you could probably use them for like Smash Brothers, but I don't really play that game. My baby girl. Um, so the reason I got this is because the Pro Controller, which I have, which I'll show here in a minute, uh, is just, it's bland. It's one single color, nothing special. This is cool. It's got, you know, it's got Mario and Friends on there, some Toads and Yoshi. That's just cool. It's got a little star up the front, you know. I like the colors and all that. And um, USB-C, wire, you know, Bluetooth wireless, that type of thing. Uh, the battery life on this lasted me about, I want to say it was like 12 days, about 12, 11 or 12 days. Um, not 12 full days. That's why I said, so it's about 12 days, which is awesome for a controller. Uh, I have a PlayStation five. I'll be honest. I will probably never buy another PlayStation in the future. Um, she's very angry. So ignore the kitty muses. Um, PlayStation controllers, since I think the PS3, and I'm comparing it to a Nintendo controller, uh, last all of four hours, maybe, if you're going hot and heavy with them or something. Uh, they don't last 12 days. They don't even last a full day before you have to charge them. So, I don't know why. They're both wireless Bluetooth controllers, also, I have yet to have stick drift problems with this. I've already, I'm on my third PS5 controller. Third. So, anyway. Um, I will say the build quality, it feels firm. It is a bit more plasticky feeling. It's definitely lighter than the Nintendo Pro controller. Uh, but don't let that deter you. My biggest complaint is that this usually retails for the same price as a Nintendo Pro controller. And I don't think that's right. I don't think it's worth it. I think you should wait and get it. I honestly wouldn't pay more than 30 bucks for this if I were you. But that's me. I was able to get it on sale. And so I did not pay full price. So, yeah, don't pay full price for this, but it is a good controller. All right. Now we move on. This is the Nintendo Pro Controller. I think these both go for like 50 or 60 bucks, if I remember. Way too expensive, but that's the times we live in. So it's all black, as you can see. It's got the Nintendo Switch icon and logo up there at the top. You know, there's the buttons. Again, USB-C charging. There's no extra controllers, which is fine by me. I don't, or buttons, I mean, which is fine by me. I don't need them. Um, this controller's battery lasted me almost 18 days, so over two weeks of battery. Just and playing playing it, both of these I played every day for no less than one hour. Um, now I don't spend eight hours a day playing video games, so obviously mileage may vary for you if you're a you know if you decide to spend four to eight hours on the couch. I don't recommend it, but you know, to each their own. So the build quality, again, it, it's firm feeling. This has definitely got more heft to it than the Pro A. It also looks a little bit, it also feels 
Yeah, it's actually a little bit smaller from what I can tell. Maybe. No, it's about the same. It's about the same. There's just no extra buttons. These are programmable buttons. Again, I would assume that's for like Smash Brothers or whatever, but nothing like that on the Pro Controller, which is fine by me. I'm not that type of gamer. So, yeah, definitely recommend this. Again, I think this retails for $50 to $60. Uh, I would not pay full price if you can help it, try and get it on sale or something, but it is definitely a great controller compared to the, uh, the Joy-Cons. My hands are too big for those little bitty things. <laughs> so uh, when I have to play it mobile, when I play my Switch mobile or handheld, um, I can only do it for so long because my thumbs start to cramp up. So on this, it's totally fine, way more comfortable and ergonomic. But yeah, that's it. I look forward to more video gaming videos <laughs> and tabletop gaming videos and all that stuff. But I wanted to get a video out this week. Um, I'm going to be working on getting some other videos uploaded at the end of this week or by the end of this week. Uh, I got a couple reading reviews coming up. Um, I finished my reread of Salem's Lot. And then I just started today. I just started The Stand. So wish me luck on that. I will say, no, nope, I'm going to talk about it in the video. I'm not going to, when I eventually get to it, it's going to take me a while. That's a thick beast. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Remember, practice kindness. It's free. I know it can be difficult, but that's why you practice. All right. Bye, everybody.